So I just finished my last long re term review and I always like to jump right into the next one because I know I'm going to be spending quite a bit of time in whatever it is that I choose. Now, first off, let's get something out of the way. A long while ago, I did a poll asking you guys where I should go next, and the winner of that poll was Void Linux. And then I did a total reneg on the whole thing and did Bluefin instead. So, in theory, Void Linux should be next for me, but guys, I just, I don't want to do Void Linux. I have no interest in that distro whatsoever. I don't find it interesting or something that I think barely anybody should use. Now... I will admit that some of that is biased based on previous experiences, and I just haven't had a good experience with installing or using Void to any success at all. And while I haven't spent a long time on it, just those initial impressions have left a very sour taste in my mouth. So I'm not going to do Void, at least not right now. Maybe eventually I'll gather the courage to do a long-term review of it, but I'm nixing that idea for right now. I just don't think I could do a good job on it and be happy about it whatsoever. So I wanted to do something that would interest me, something that was something that I hadn't done before, maybe try a distro that I've ba you know bashed in the past for various non-technical reasons. And someone suggested Ubuntu to me and I was like I kind of have the same feeling about Ubuntu as I do Void. Not that nobody should use Ubuntu. I think that a lot of people would be perfectly happy on Ubuntu, but I, I just know that I wouldn't be. Uh, at least not vanilla Ubuntu. So instead, I've made a choice. I've decided I'm going to be spending the next few months in a distribution that I've talked a lot of trash about over the years. And no, it's not Linux Mint. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. It was going to be Linux Mint, but it's not Linux Mint. I've actually talked way more trash about the distro I'm going to be using than I ever have about Linux Mint. I've made several videos about the distro that I'm going to be using, and I've never been particularly nice to them, like, at all. I, I've had problems with their developers. I've had problems with their software itself. I've had problems with almost every decision they've ever made when it comes to how they do their distro. And I haven't been quiet about it. I've made many videos. I've made blog posts. I've talked about it on the podcast. I have not been nice. So, what is this Mysterio distro? Well, before I tell you, Leave a thumbs up on this video. I'd be really appreciative of it. So here is my next long-term review, or at least what will be my next long-term review. And you'll be a little bit surprised, I think. There you go. That's what it is. It's Elementary OS 8. It just came out. Now, I will admit that this is not what was planned. So I installed Elementary OS with the idea to do a horrendous rant about it because they just came out with this thing, but it felt like... Uh, version 7.1 was released like years and years ago and it was kind of years and years ago 7 came out in uh, 2023 but that was just last year it felt like it was a lot longer than that and then, yes it did take them a long time to get 7 out based on Ubuntu 22.04 but I'm, I, I couldn't actually give them a good old-fashioned rant when they actually it feels like they sped up a little bit so 24.04 came out and we're still in 2024 and elementary os 8 is out and given how big of a release this is given this is actually using wayland i can't rant and say that their releases come out too slowly given that it comes out about the same speed as Mint does, right? At least this one did. The previous version, yes, I could have given them a, lo a load of crap, and I did. But this time, I can't. So my initial rant it was completely, you know, it went off the rails. I couldn't do it. And I was like, you want to know what? I think it's time for me to spend some good old quality time in elementary OS. So this is based on Ubuntu. So that'll get the people who wanted me to try Ubuntu uh, some re relief. And it will also make it so I don't actually have to use vanilla Ubuntu, which I don't want to do. So elementary OS 08 is my next long-term review. Now, just some initial thoughts. First off, I haven't installed it on hardware yet. So we'll see how that goes. If the whole thing, you know, goes sideways there, then I'll make another video and I'll actually get to do my rant. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Just, I've been playing around with it in a VM here for a couple hours. 
uh, and have done some restarts and done some updating and all that stuff and just you know just played around with it and most of it feels like it hasn't changed that much i i haven't used elementary os in any per for any period of time for a long while like since five like version five whenever it was they switched to flat pack uh, that's the last time i tried it and that was ages and ages ago so I have, so I can't really tell you how much it has changed or, and what's different. I haven't gotten too far into it, but I will just say my initial impressions are that it's still just as pretty as I remember. Their dark theme is great. I will say though that I'm not happy because their, their default is this white version and actually getting this thing to change is going to cause, cause everything to crash. Um, Yeah including my whole computer. I don't know why it made my whole computer crash. I will say that the the light theme is better than it was before. The last time I tried it, they were still very much skeuomorphic. There was they're still doing like that, that like silvery old-fashioned Mac OS color. Now it's actually just plain white, which I think is good. Let me see if I can switch this over again without my whole computer dying. That was much quicker. Now they do they do warn you that Elementary OS does not work well in a VM. They do that right in the installer, so I'm not going to judge anything based on that. So there's no judgment there. Uh, I, I will say that I want a minimize button. Like that's gonna that's gonna cause me a lot a load of problems. Like I want a minimize button. <laughs> I I don't know if I can minimize by clicking on here. No, you can't do that. So. Uh, like GNOME, they have chosen that minimize is not a real thing, and I don't understand that. So I'll, I'll probably bitch about that somewhere along the line, and, and I'll try to figure out how to change it. I, I don't know if elementary OS tweaks is still a thing. I'll have to find out. So anyways, uh, just initial impressions. It's still very, very pretty. They've done a better job on the light theme. I don't like the light theme, but it's better than it was. Uh, I don't like that they still continue, for whatever reason, to ship this stupid browser. This is GNOME browser or Epiphany or whatever they call it now. Uh, they just call it web here, I think. This is just GNOME web, I think, uh, or their their version of it. But the point is, just just ship Firefox, guys. Just, seriously, this is not a browser that anyone wants to use legitimately long term. I mean, I'm sure there's some developers out there that have used it for a little while. And I'm sure there's someone in the comments hastily typing away right now. Oh, I use GNOME Web all the time as my daily driver. You're the only one. Okay. <laughs> like here, you're, you're like, there's like five of you out there and the vast majority of people would be very much happier with Firefox just pre-installed because I'm going to have to install that anyways. Just, just do it for me. I understand why they don't, but it's still stupid, but that's just an opinion. Those are early initial impressions. So I, I just do like the layout. I've always liked the layout. It's very much Mac OS. Like Mac OS does a really good job of uh, of design and stuff. So emulating that has never been a problem for me. I have some thoughts on it's still very solid looking. I really wish there was some transparency in the OS. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know if maybe that that stuff is here and it just doesn't show up in the VM. I'll have to figure that out once I get in, get it on hardware. So yeah. Not much more to say than that, and I am quite shocked at myself, to be, to be honest with you, because like I said, I have given LMS, Elementary OS the, the absolute, you know, I've given them the finger a lot of times <laughs> over the course of the, the last few, few years, so the fact that I'm going to be spending the next several months in this thing, you know, it's going to be interesting. So, let me talk about how this will go, because uh, every time I do a long-term review, someone says, oh my god, you've left open, Sousa? No, no. Calm down. I have multiple computers. This here will be going on my editing rig or on my laptop. We'll do my laptop first, see if I can't get DaVinci Resolve to actually work. If I can, then we'll do the editing rig. So it'll be a little bit of a process, but I have multiple computers. That's where Elementary OS will go. The main, my main rig will stay open, Sousa, and we'll have an Elementary OS hard drive in it that I can use on my main machine, see how it works with multiple monitors and stuff. So that's where I'm going. If you have thoughts or things that you'd like to see me focus on in the long-term review, leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. You can also support me on Ko-fi or YouTube or Patreon. Those, I should say PayPal. Those links will be in the video description as well if you want to support me on those platforms. You can uh, join all of these fine people who are awesome. So thank you so very much if you support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all Again, awesome. I should use, I should find some other uh, adjectives to actually describe you. Spectacular, marvelous, gorgeous, um, spectacularly generous. 
folks, all of you. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to look up some adjectives eventually. Uh, that's why I get stuck on awesome. But anyways, thank you so very much for your support. I truly appreciate it. Patreon.com slash TheLearningsCast if you want to join those people. Or you can head on over to the shop, which is available at shop.TheLearningsCast.org. There you'll find all sorts of awesome merchandise. There's also a sale going on until the end of the year. So if you want to get some money off from your entire order, there's a code that you can use. I will put that code somewhere above my head so you can... Get yourself some money off. Also, if you do want to support me on Patreon, you can get 15% off your first month by using a code there as well. I'll put that somewhere along the lines here as well. So, uh, how many times can I say as well at the end of the video? That's a new challenge. I think it's a lot. Anyways, that's it for this one. I'll see you next time. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, weekend, whatever it is, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.